it can be sometimes hard thinking of things to make every single weeknight for your family. Well, let's take a little trip to the Hawaiian Islands because I'm going to show you one of their staples and it's called a loco moco. Super easy to make, incredibly delicious, guaranteed family favorite. So the origin of how the loco moco came to be is a little bit funny and goofy. Supposedly a family with a group of teenagers from a local sports club came into a restaurant, like a famous diner. This is like 1949-ish, 1950-ish, and they wanted something different than a sandwich. So they said, hey, put this in a bowl with some rice, and that became the loco moco. The loco part, was named after one of the kids whose first name was George. And I guess he was crazy when he played sports. So his nickname was Crazy George. So Loco and then Moco, which actually means snot in Spanish. I'm hoping they are not connected. Although there is a fried sunny side up egg on it. In any event, let's get to prepping this up. Sound good? Let's cook. I'm gonna kick off this recipe by making some rice. I've got some jasmine rice, but you can use any long grain white or even basmati would be great. Go ahead and add it to a medium sized sauce pot. Then we're gonna add on some water. I usually like to scale back by about a quarter cup to a half cup because I want it to be light and fluffy and not soggy. Bring it over to your cooktop and crank the heat on to high because what I wanna do is bring it to a boil. I'm gonna give it a little stir just to get things incorporated. I'm not much of washing rice ahead of time because well, I'm not really sure that it does that much. So go ahead and pop a lid on it and what we're gonna do is turn the heat down to low and cook it for 15 minutes. The traditional recipe here uses Spam. Not gonna do it, a little too salty for me. Now, if you wanted to add Spam to this, that would be really good. But for the meat patties, here's what we're gonna do. Head over to your cutting board, and traditionally you would use a Maui onion. Obviously, only people from Maui can do this. So just grab any sweet onion would be fantastic. Cut it in half, peel it, and then we're going to small dice this. And please be sure to small dice it because we don't want huge chunks of onion in our burger meat. Add it to a very large bowl, and then I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of garlic. So add some fresh garlic cloves right through a garlic press, unless you just love to mince it up, which I do not like to do anymore. Go ahead and cut off any excess, and then into the bowl, I'm gonna add in some ground beef. I would recommend using 80-20. That's 80 lean to 20% fat, at the very least 85 to 15. Hit it with some soy sauce, some Worcestershire sauce, and go ahead and get your hands in there and completely mix all of these ingredients together until it's combined. Take the time to do this because we want every bite to be absolutely delicious. This looks fantastic at this point. So now it's time to form our patties. You can make these as big or as small as you want. I'm gonna go anywhere in between six and nine ounces. I want it to be a full serving for each of my family member and friends. This looks perfect. That's exactly about the size patty that I'm going for. Go ahead and set it to the side on a plate or a sheet tray lined with parchment paper. And for me, when it comes to seasoning meat or anything, I like to do it at the end. So if I'm mixing all this ground meat together, I don't know how much salt I need, but when I season it before it's cooking, I can see that things are perfectly coated. That is just me. If you wanna add some in before you mix it in, totally up to you. So for me, I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper. And remember, meat loves salt and pepper, so generously do this, it will only enhance the flavor. Head over to our cooktop. Now let's take a look at our rice. It's been 15 minutes, take the top off, and what I'm gonna do is fork it, get your mind out of the gutter. Just simply fluff up the rice, this looks great. Pop the lid back on, it's gonna stay warm, no problem, push it to the side. Now go over to a large skillet, gonna hit it with a little bit of oil, just any cooking oil will do. We're gonna add our hamburger patties in over medium high heat. We just want to brown these up. Cook them about three or four minutes per side. We're gonna add them back into the sauce at some point, so don't worry about completely cooking them through right now. Let's give it a little flip. Yeah, these look fantastic. That caramelization on that burger is gonna be so amazing. This is great timing though, because once we flip them, we're going back over to our cutting board. We've got some cremini mushrooms, which are incredibly classic in this loco moco recipe. And what I like to do is slice the end off and roll it over so it's not wobbling around and then thinly slice it. Once they are done, I'm gonna add them to a bowl and head right over to my cooktop. And I'll stop and say this, just like I tell you every single week, Comies, it's all about understanding these fundamental techniques of cooking so that you can apply it to all of your food and it's guaranteed to be better than anything you will get in a restaurant or the store or anything. Even as simple as using your time appropriately, like when the meat is cooking, you can come back and slice up those mushrooms. Or when the rice is cooking, you can prep up the hamburger patties. 
knowing how to do these things, knowing when to do these things is going to make your food so much better. I know it's simple, but it's going to be amazing. Now, we're going to take a look at our meat. It looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and take each of them out. We're going to set them to the side on a plate or on a sheet tray, whatever you've got. And there's quite a bit of fat left over in the pan. Don't you dare throw it away. We're going to add about half of it to a skillet on the side. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that in a second. Put the pan back over the burner over medium heat. We're going to add in our cremini mushrooms. We're going to stir those in. We want to get a nice brown on them, maybe three to four minutes. This looks absolutely perfect. And at this point, we're going to hit it with a little bit of all-purpose flour. This is going to help create a roux. We're going to mix it in until it's completely combined in the mushrooms. And then we're going to hit it with some really good beef stock. This is going to make our gravy that's going to be so delicious in this local moco. So go ahead and stir some things around. Maybe three to four more minutes. It's going to become nice and thick just like this. This is absolutely perfect. We're going to season it up with just a little bit of soy sauce for some nice umami flavors. Generously with sea salt and fresh cracked black pepper. And because I was always taught this way, I'm going to hit it with a little unsalted butter. Going to give a nice body and sheen to this sauce. Mix it in and then to keep them warm, like I said earlier, we're going to add these patties right back into the sauce. Go back over to that skillet with a little bit of leftover fat in there. We are going to crack an egg right in there over medium high heat. I'm going to fry it to sunny side up. You can feel free to cook it as long as you'd like. And this next part is up to you. I'm going to do it because it's just habit. I'm going to actually season up the rice first with a little bit of vinegar. Next with some salt. I'm just going to mix it until combined. It's simple, but it's going to make this rice so much better. And let me stop and say this. I mean, what are the ingredients here? Meat, onions, garlic, mushrooms, a little bit of beef stock, rice, and an egg. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. This is something that you can easily make at home during the week, and your family and friends are going to love it. Time to plate up in slow-mo. Add some rice right to whatever plate or platter that you're serving it on. This looks perfect. We're going to hit it with one of those delicious cooked hamburger patties. Lay it right over top of the rice. And then go get you a big old spoonful of that mushroom gravy. This stuff is seriously gold, my friends. And then the next thing we're going to do is add that egg right to the top or maybe slightly off to the side. Just be careful because it's going to want to slip right off of that hamburger. And then classically, and we're going to do it too, finish it with some sliced green onions. Check out this beauty. Dude, this is so good. So easy to make guaranteed that your family will absolutely dig this. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out this video because it is so good, and I'll see you on there.